Hey guys, in this video, I decided to prank my team and pretend they was a pro Harley. Harley. The first step was complete. The trio thought I was a good Harley player because of the win rate. Now the second step is to completely dominate the enemy and gain a huge amount of kills to make it seem that I'm actually good. We have some high mythical glory players over a thousand points. I thought this prank would be a fail. Also, if you end up enjoying this video, consider leaving a like and subscribing. Since the enemy has Claude as the core, it would have been better if we play more aggressively and invade their buff. But unfortunately, Kufra went to the bottom lane, so that plan is no longer available. The second stage was also successful and managed to completely dominate the enemies in the early to mid game. At this point, I managed to get 12 kills. So now that I completely fooled my teammates by making them think I'm a good Harley player, they are going to make the game a lot more interesting. After activating 1-1's one ult, it's better to use it on the tank rather than the damage dealers because the tanks are annoying. After this, the game will become overwhelmingly interesting.
攻撃を避けられるかなもうちょっと背が高ければいいのになまだまだだな<笑> When playing the marksman, it's your job to provide vision and protect the tank from any danger. Always be ahead of the tank. In the end, the prank was a huge success. I made my teammates completely throw the game because they thought this Harley was good enough to carry the game. But little did they know, this inexperienced Harley, that even with 18 kills, cannot even carry the game all by himself. I just wanted to show you that sometimes, it doesn't matter how hard you try and how well you do, there are some external factors that you cannot control. Many will get really tilted after such a game, and I'm not the exception. But instead of queuing right away, I would recommend to take a break, which is what I did. There are some great movies out there at the moment, such as Zack Snyder Justice League. I personally think it was a pretty solid movie. Once I took a break, I felt so much better, so I decided to play again and use Harley one more time. I saw that our side laners were really struggling, but I didn't want to lose two games in a row with one of my favorite heroes, so I decided to focus a bit more. Looking at how the game was progressing, it seemed like we were going to have another interesting game. What a golly if, if she didn't use her flame shot, Farsa was definitely going to survive. On the other hand, our Paquito has been losing extremely hard against Ruby. When the enemies are distracted, attack their backline. Remember, if you are the core, you don't want to trade your life just for another kill. It's 100% not worth it.
This Eve is pretty good at aiming with flame shot. While chasing Ruby, I need to maintain a certain distance and make sure her all doesn't reach me. I'm always trying to look for the main damage dealer first. But that perfect dash timing allowed him to dodge my ult. Poor Yi Sun Xing, he's always in the wrong place at the wrong time. XT If there's a chance to kill the enemies first, kill them first before continuing attacking the Lord. Ruby is quite scary in the late game.
standing before you is the greatest magician in the world! This might seem like another epic comeback for the opposition, but I couldn't let that happen twice in a row, especially when I'm using Harley. Gotta wait for these squishy heroes to show up first. Ruby is only trying to protect them from me, but that means the rest of my team can do as they please. I think when I'm using Harley, it's important to not make the game too one-sided, because then the team will feel the game is too easy and not really focused. And if it's come to late game, Harley cannot really solo carry the team, because he cannot kill multiple heroes in a row, just one at a time. <laughs> 